I'm Charlene Clayton, and I'm the recreation therapist on the bone marrow transplant unit. Patients, their family members, their friends are able to come down and we'll, we'll do art projects, we'll tie-dye things, we'll play cornhole or miniature golf, whatever they're interested in. My job as a recreation therapist is to find out their interests and try to find a way to incorporate that in a hospital setting. Most of these people are healthy people, busy in life, and then they usually get a very rude awakening so that they have a problem. I live in Monticello, Utah, and I want to have my teeth pulled. And I had three teeth pulled, and they wouldn't stop bleeding. So three hospitals later, they couldn't figure out why I had leukemia. I have leukemia. Whatever plans you had for school, work, vacation, your kids, whatever it was you were doing, is suddenly you have to put the spotlight on your own health and probably be in the hospital at first for a month which is hard to wrap your head around when you first hear that. But then after the first month, it doesn't end there. Some protocols are three years of treatment. If you need a bone marrow transplant, you're involved in your medical care for years. Their contact with people is a little bit limited. Their ability to get out of the hospital and, and do things they would normally do is non-existent. So the Joy and Wellness Recreational Therapy Program is a chance for these patients to feel some sense of normalcy at probably the most difficult time in their life. I think it's pretty awesome because we get to paint and we get to do all these fun activities and, and have a lot of fun and then we get to take it home and show our family what we've been doing. And they're not stuck talking about their diagnosis. They can come to group and they can talk about how they met their spouse. They can talk about, oh, one time I called 911 on my daughter's boyfriend. It's been awesome to do that. I have something to look forward to during the week, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you get to meet other people, share your ideas for crafts. I'm a crafty person anyhow. <laughs> Often people are looking forward to what is the activity for the day. They're coming out of their rooms. They're having the chance to meet each other? Yeah, because I was mad and bad and sad and then I came down here and I went, oh, this is nice. So I'm painting a birdhouse. We're grateful that there were donors that stepped in that actually have created this program. Donors that understood the situation, understood the opportunity to do good. And when good people step up, to do good things and put their resources behind it, we see that lives are changed. And that's what we've seen here uh, with the donors that have come forward. Coming to group, it's not about the diagnosis, it's just about who you are and what your story is and creating friendships. It's not just about arts and crafts. Um, that's a huge thing because, like you said, it helps keep your mind busy and your hands busy, but it also it's a wonderful social activity that helps us patients and the caregivers come together with uh, support for each other and encouragement for each other. That's a huge, huge thing. You do your crafts and hear their story. Yep. <laughs>